In this video, I want to show you how you can add a photo to an existing photo. Or if you want to create a blank canvas and you want to add a bunch of photos to that. So I want to go ahead and create a photo, an 8x10, or rather a 10x8 landscape. So I need to set up my canvas first. So that's really the first thing you need to do is determine what size of final photo you want. So I'm going to click on this first photo and I'm going to create a virtual photo of this. So right click and create virtual photo and then click onto that virtual photo and click adjustment and go to full screen and then I'm going to rotate this so click right click and rotate left because I want to maximize my canvas so click over here on the crop and straighten and click on this unlock aspect ratio and then choose whatever size you want to work with if you want a 6x4 landscape or if you want a 4x6 portrait I want to work with a 10x8 landscape so I'm going to click done and it resized it and so now I'm going to go back to photo viewer and then click layers and now I want to remove this photo so that I have a blank canvas and then I'll go ahead and I'll add the photo back in and this is the original one so this is the virtual photo and I'm gonna go back to full screen and then click command A to select the entire photo and then come over here to the select area tool click that and then click delete selection and then clear the selection. So now we have a blank canvas. Now go back to our photo viewer and go ahead and start adding your photos. So I'm going to add back the original photo. Just click and drag it and drop it. Make sure you don't let go when you click because it will then it will change your photo. Let me show you what I mean. If you click on to this it's going to ask you this question and you don't want that. So just click cancel. So make sure you click and hold and drag and then drop it. And do that for every photo you want to bring in. So click and drag and drop. And I'm just going to start with these four and then I'm going to go back up to full screen. And now I'm going to start moving the photos. So I'm going to start with this top one. So with the pick and move tool clicked, just click and move them, click and drag them. And it should automatically click onto that photo. You shouldn't have to go over here to the left, but in some cases that does happen. So just be aware of that. If you're clicking on, if you go to click on something and actually moves another photo, just make sure you, you put your cursor on the right layer on the left. So we've moved some photos around. I want to resize this one. So, and if you want to turn some of those layers off so you can work with them more easily, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to resize that and move that here. I'm going to put her up there. And then I'm going to turn that one on. I'm going to move that one down here. And then I'm going to turn my next layer on. And I'm just going to move her just up here like that and then I'm going to turn my last layer on and I'm just going to move her like that and I'm just going to move her to so she's behind those other two photos so click onto that click it and drag it so that it's on the very bottom like that and then just actually you want her to be on top of this one but underneath the purple one so the purple one on top there we go and then if you just want to crop this one move it over a little bit and then you just want to crop the edge off you can do that so click on to it and click the select area tool and with your rectangle selection click that and then just chop off the end of it like that 
click the delete selection and then clear your selection. And so now you're not chopping too much of this other photo off here. So that's how you add different photos and move them around and resize them. And then if you wanted to edit them further, like adding shapes, we could do that. So come up here to your top layer and choose the shape tool. And I'm going to start with a star shape. And I'm just going to pick five points. There's five points to a star, and I'm going to choose indent of 30. It just defaulted to that. And then just click and drag on whatever photo you want to be in the star shape. And then just drag it. So I'm going to go like that. And now we need to convert this to an image. So right click on your shape and convert to image. And now we can come up to the select area tool. And choose your, pick and your magic wand tool. And then click on to the star and then we want to delete delete selection and so now that you have a star selection we need to go on to the actual image and invert the selection and click delete selection and then clear your selection and then if you want to move it just go back to your pick and move tool and then just move it around wherever you want it. And then you can do that for each photo if you want. If you want to add a black background, we can fill this blank background in. So click onto it, come up to the fill tool, and it defaulted to black, so I'm just going to select that. You can change it if you want to whatever color. I'm just going to keep it on black and then just click on the canvas and it fills it in with black. And so that's how you add images and how you would cut an image into a shape. I hope you like this video.